What is the worst thing you have found on someone else's phone? Not me but a bartender friend of mine found a phone unlocked on the bar and couldn't locate its owner, so he punched in his own phone number and found out he was already in the contacts as back quote creepy J. Videos of my then husband descending into madness. He had gotten a traumatic brain injury, after which he took loads of videos of him going crazy. Last one he was covered, in vomit arguing with his reflection, and had no idea it was him. 100% do not suggest watching someone you love like that. Trauma. My ex-wife's. Found a recipe for potato salad with raisins in it. My dad died about a year and a half ago in a car accident, I went through his phone after he passed, and he had taken pictures of the bania where he grew up the morning of his accident, and he had a half written text message to me making plans to see me for Christmas. It's not like those things are shocking, or awful in the way CP or whatever is, but shocking, and awful in a way, that it's a view into a life cut short. It was two days before Christmas, and he was reminiscing about his childhood, and planning with his children and it all just ended in the blink of an eye. It guts me every time I think about it. Hanging out with a work friend after work. We would have a couple beers at this restaurant and he would scroll Tinder and I would help him decide on which way to swipe. And all we saw my wife, now ex-wife. That was not a great time. It, this exploded lol. Nine years on Reddit now over half my karma is just this comment. Thank you for the supportive DMS. My ex-wife's iTunes on her iPhone was actually my account that I set up for my iPad, she was just too lazy to set up a new account. So I told her if she did that that her iMessages would come through to my iPad. She said she didn't caroon until she started cheating on me and I got the texts directly to my iPad. Found texts from my GF secret lover. This was in the early 2000s, when phones were still super primitive. Her phone had that snake game on it, and mine didn't, so I would occasionally use her phone to play snake. The game would get interrupted, if someone texted though. And sure enough, while I was playing, a secret lover texted her. I saw it, and then couldn't help myself, and had to read the rest of the texts between them. Absolutely crushed me. Mild compared to a lot of other people's stuff posted here, I know. I found out my wife is dying after I read messages exchanged between her and her sister. I guess she was too afraid to tell me just yet. I waited till she wanted to tell me on her own before I told her that I had seen the messages and had already known. An old friend of mine called me frantically requesting I come to his house because he needed a witness. He feared his then wife was about to call cops and accuse him of domestic violence. I could hear her in the background screaming just don't believe him. I don't live close, but I was concerned and drove over. They live in a cul-de-sac and I could hear the screaming before I got in the door. When I opened the door, he was at the top of the stairs trying to explain she is crazy. She was trying to explain that my friend is a pervert. So, of course my immediate thought was he must have been caught around. Well to my shock and disappointment, she managed to yank the phone from him and she immediately started scrolling to pictures. She had to show me to convince me that my buddy I have known for over a decade is a pervert. She showed a dick pic. I was like gross but okay. He started yelling that I sent me. Which made me even more uncomfortable, because now my buddy is admitting to receiving dick pics. No. He had taken the picture and had sent it to his wife's cowalker's daughter. She was 12. I had always believed that had I ever confronted a child predator, that I would him up. I didn't, instead I made sure his wife was able to call the cops without him trying to stop her. The end. A picture of my sex toy up is, but sent to another girl. My nudes that I did not send to them. CP. He's in jail now. Emails of my ex trying to meet women from Craigslist for sex. A family friend asked me to look through her 12y slash o daughter's phone for any questionable content. I found several photos of her covered in bruises, bite marks, and knife cuts. 
she looked heavily intoxicated in each picture. After talking with her, I discovered her mid-twenties brother had been drugging and raping her, with plans to kidnap her and marry her. I reported everything immediately, and he has been in jail for almost three years now. It has traumatized me deeply. Dude came to the job site to complain. Asks the number for the supervisor, and when he pulls out his phone his screensaver is a guy holding a huge I don't know if it was his own or someone else's, but damn. Edit. Good. My highest upvoted comment about some random guy's pic. Lovely.